well. We are coming to the end, which is also the beginning, of a new and very important geopolitical cycle, uh, which is marked very specifically astrologically by the conjunction of Saturn and Pluto. Boom, men in black. They meet regularly, not that often. So they're about to meet on the 12th of January, 2020, 12th, 13th, depends where you are. Previously, they met in 1982 and 1947 and 1914-15. So they met several times, those uh, 1914 and 15. This time they're just meeting once, but it's a big one, big. Okay, now, I've been thinking about this and actually... There's a kind of clarity about what these, this cycle means when you look at the very macro picture, okay? So 1914, we know what happened. It was the beginning of the First World War. Um, and the First World War went, bled into the Second World War. And then we have the meeting again in 1947, which you could say is the beginning. It's the end of the wars in Europe. It's also the birth of... Uh, Pakistan and India. They are actually born with this conjunction. Uh, and it's the beginning of the Cold War. Indeed, it's the year that the Truman Doc Doctrine comes into being, which is the doctrine of the Cold War. So from 1947, we go up to 1982. And what happens in 1982 is that Brezhnev, the leader of the Soviet Union at that time, dies, leaving a little bit of a vacuum in leadership and that begins the crumbling of the Soviet Union. So 1947, 1982, Cold War, right? Cold War, kind of we don't see the result of that till 1989, but that's the beginning of the, of the crumbling. So 1982 to 2020 has been, well, I don't know how you want to look at it, but I would suggest that in one way it's the hegemony, or the American hegemony in the world. Um, and we're coming up. Now, when you have this cycle, any cycle like this, is, which is the meeting of these two planets, boom, regularly, regularly, there's a halfway point when they are opposite each other, okay? Now, the reason that I was thinking about this is because when these two planets, Saturn and Pluto, the uh, lord of the underworld, and the old man of rules, they're both planets of uh, death, resurrection, and transformation. Well, transformation is Pluto. Saturn's just cutting things down sometimes. Anyway, they're both very, very powerful planets. These two meet, and it's about power, whether that's personal power in your own chart, political power in the world, nuclear power. We associate Pluto with nuclear power. It's interesting that India and Pakistan are nuclear powers. When these two uh, meet, we have these big changes, but also when we have the opposition. And the reason I've been thinking about this is that when we had the opposition, it was in 2001, September 11th, okay, was very highly, they were very involved. That opposition was involved in 2011. And now, boom, what's happening? What's happened just a few days ago is the sh the shooting, not the shooting, the drone, was he droned? What do you call it when someone's droned? Bombing. The assassination of General Soleimani, the Iranian general, which is uh, the United States using its power outside its borders. In a, uh, in a way, well, anyway, that's going to have massive repercussions in the same way that 9-11 did. And those two incidents are connected, okay? Um, I'm not making any suggestions about who was involved or anything like that. I'm just saying that in the story of the cycle and the story of how uh, mythology and narratives work, those two uh, points are connected. And they are telling us about what this whole um, Saturn-Pluto, that Saturn conjunction was about, and we're coming to the end, and in the end is also the beginning. So there's going to be a new beginning. One more thing to say about this conjunction. 
which um, is just that it is much, much, many, many, many more planets are involved than have ever been involved before in the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. So it's like everybody is piling in to have something, they have something to say about it. Uh, but I'll talk more about that in the next video.